What is going on guys, Z here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to reinstall Windows 8.1. So some of the things that you're going to need are a USB flash drive, four gigabytes or above obviously, and you're going to make sure that you have all your files backed up. So if you have movies, music, documents, pictures, anything that's valuable on your hard drive, currently you're going to need to back it up. So go ahead, back it up, make sure all your files are backed up, transfer them to a different hard drive, transfer them to a different computer, save them to a CD, whatever. Just make sure that you have them backed up. That's really important. So now you're going to also need a valid CD key. You're going to need a valid CD key because the version of Windows that we're going to get is from the Microsoft website and you're going to need to enter the CD key when you have the version of Windows installed on your computer or before you install it, it's going to ask you for a, for the CD key, for the valid CD key. So you're gonna you're gonna make sure that you have the CD key with you, and that's a series of numbers and letters. Just make sure you have that CD key. All right, so now let's go ahead and go over to the Microsoft website. I'm gonna open up Opera web browser for this, and I will I guess provide a link. But what I usually do is I down I type in download Windows 8.1. I will have a link to that. And as you can see, the first thing that pops up here is Windows 8.1, Microsoft, and this is a download link. So it tells you all the information that you need before so that you download it. And now you basically download a tool. Now this tool, what it does is it puts the, the Windows 8.1 download onto the either USB stick or if you wanted to use a DVD, if you have a DVD player. So go ahead and click download tool now and I already have it so just click save and once that's done so before we open up the media creation tool we need to find out which version of Windows we have so go ahead and open up any folder and where you see this PC or if if it says computer right click on it so you're gonna right click with the mouse and click on properties and it should say which version of Windows that you do have so make sure that uh, you get the proper version and uh, also it helps if you write down the 64-bit or if you have a 32-bit so go ahead and write down which version of windows you have now once you have the, the version of windows let's go back into the media creation tool just right here we're going to double click it the one that we just downloaded and just click yes if it gives you that prompt the user prompt now we're going to choose the language. I'm going to choose English, choose whatever language that it is that you do use. And addition. Now, so this is where we found out which version of Windows we have. So I, I have on my other computer Windows 8.1. So I'm going to click on Windows 8.1 and then it asks you the architecture. So it's 32 bit or 64 bit. So you need to make sure mine said 64 bit. My both my computers are 64 bits. So I'm just going to click 64 bit. If you guys use 32 bit, click use 32 bit. So I'm going to go ahead and use 64 bit since that's the one I have. Then I'm going to click next. And because I'm going because I'm using a USB flash drive, uh, if you guys haven't already uh, put in your uh, DVD or USB flash drive, go ahead and do that now because you will need to install this Windows file onto either the DVD or the USB flash drive, whichever one that you're using. So because I'm using USB flash drive, I'm gonna go ahead and click next. If you guys are using the DVD and click on ISO file, I'm using USB flash drive, so I'm gonna click next. And then it's going to already find the USB flash drive or the DVD that, you're, that you inserted. I'm gonna go ahead and click next since that's the, the DVD thing that uh, I, I've inserted into my laptop. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And it's going to basically ask you now, it's going to tell you that the files are, are going to be deleted. So since I have nothing important on there, I'm just gonna click okay. And now it's going to download from the Microsoft website and onto your USB flash drive, it's going to download the Windows installation file. So that can take quite a while, especially if you do have a slow internet connection. So just wait for that to finish and we'll be right back. All right, so now that that is done, let's go ahead and click on finish. And let's remove that from our computer. Let's safely remove it. So we just click on that, eject data traveler. And now we can pull it out from the computer. 
And now we're going to plug it into the computer. We're going to insert the USB stick or the DVD drive to whichever computer that we're reinstalling Windows 8.1 to. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so the USB stick is plugged in. I'm now gonna turn on my laptop and I'm going to boot into the USB drive. Now, if you don't know how to do this, uh, research it because every laptop is different. On my computer, it's escape, and then I have the option of doing F9 to boot service, uh, boot device options, and I go into Kingston Data Traveler. That is my, that is my USB um, boot setup that I have here on my laptop. All right, so now once it loads into the screen, I'm just going to make sure all those settings are in there and click next, and then I'm going to click on install now. Okay, so this next screen is going to ask me to input my CD key. So go ahead and input your Windows 8.1 CD key that you written down or that you have with you. And once you're finished typing that in, just click next. So now I'm gonna click on, I accept the license terms and I'm gonna click next. And here is where you click on custom install Windows only advanced because we're doing a brand new installation of Windows 8.1. So over here, I'm gonna delete all the partitions that I currently have, and this will remove everything that's currently on the hard drive. So it's gonna delete everything, all the files. So again, if you didn't back up your hard drive, then this is where you pretty much delete all the partitions and you leave out the one main one because the primary, it won't let you delete it even if you wanted to. So I'm gonna click on delete just to get all that space on that one drive. So if you guys are using a brand new hard drive, you're not gonna to need to do any of this. You're just going to need to select on the drive with the unallocated space and you're going to click next. So now that we have that done, it's going to install Windows 8.1 onto our computer and that will take a few minutes. So we'll be, I'll be right back. All right. So now that that's done, finished installing, I'm going to go ahead and remove my USB flash drive or DVD if you are using a DVD. And then I'm going to go and click OK and restart my computer into my brand fresh spanking new installation of Windows 8.1. Alright guys, well from here it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can pretty much just run through the options, name your PC, do whatever it is you need to do. Don't forget to install the drivers for your particular laptop. If you did need to find that, you just go to the manufacturer's website and they should have your drivers there if you type in your model name number whatever so that is going to be it for this video i hope this video really helped you out if it did give me a thumbs up thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in my next video